one of the first things that got me really interested is seeing birds through a pair of binoculars. I barely could use them, so it was like one eye closed looking at stuff. But I, I got where I could use them well enough where I could find birds. Well, I was born in Huntsville, Alabama. My family lived out on a, on a farm uh, in the Harvest Monrovia community. My brother and I both were, kind of, were interested in nature. We wandered around in the fields a lot. We were interested in insects. I ended up being an entomologist. I didn't get into birding, though, until I was uh, close to grown, pretty much. And I remember in particular seeing a red-bellied woodpecker, red on the back of the head and got a, a checkered black and white back and so forth, and being really impressed and uh, eventually I, I went to college at UAH, University of Alabama Huntsville, and there happened to be an organic chemist on the, in the chemistry department there who was an avid birder, and uh, he offered a birding course of all things at the university, one hour credit course. And I saw that and said, man, I'd like to, I'd like to check this out. We went on an overnight trip to Bankhead National Forest. The biggest memory I guess I had of that down there is, is uh, probably was the next morning when we were up early in the morning at peak migration. And my memory of it was that it was just birds dripping off the trees over the Sipsi River. And if, if there's anything else I needed to be hooked, uh, that, was, that did it right there. The farm is of general importance, Winford Thomas, Agricultural Research Station, uh, and uh, there's a variety of kinds of research that have gone on out here. It's a place where students are educated, and uh, it's actually on the North Alabama Birding Trail. Somehow heard about Audubon Christmas Bird Camp, and uh, got involved in those. Wheeler National Wildlife Refuge does one of those every year, where you, you divide people up into parties and send them out all day to count and identify as many birds as they can. Uh, those things have been going on for over a hundred years. It is, it's citizen science in addition to just an, another opportunity to get out there and bird, have your fun and uh, generate data at the same time. Particularly with the breeding bird surveys, I use my ears for practically all of it. There are some birds I have a hard time with, but there's lots of birds there. I'm not going to see hardly any of them. It's going to be 90 or 95 percent by the by ear, and uh, my ears are still good. Some birders chase rarities. Some birders just like to keep lists of birds. But it's fun just to be out for one thing, and particularly if you're you're out with friends. And I'm out with my wife, of course. My wife and I are very close, and we do things together in part because we have similar interests. She's an entomologist. I'm an entomologist. We just, uh, we do a lot of things together. She's very sociable, I'm not especially. Uh, so that's one of the best things she did for me, uh, making me be more open and opened up uh, about things and, and uh, doing things with other people and so forth, which is still sometimes awkward for me. And she's just wonderful. And uh, it's just a joy to be out with her. If I'm down in the dumps or something, getting out in birding. If I, if I don't feel like getting up because my back's hurting or something, if I got a birding spot to go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna go do it. 